Part 3. The Foundations The base plate must be positioned flush with the driveway entrance and not protrude into the driveway where a car could hit it. Don't mount the operator too close to the side of a gate support post or pillar as you need some space on the side of the operator to access the mounting studs. If you're going to fit a theft resistant cage, also bear in mind the space required for this. The base plate can be either bolted down onto an existing concrete plinth or concreted into position. Assemble the base plate, fitting the concrete anchor tabs where necessary and ensure that the studs are thoroughly tightened. The gearbox must be positioned so that when it stands 5 mm off the base plate and the rack is 3 mm above the pinion, the rack can be fixed to the bottom of the gate. Now prepare a hole for the foundation of approximately 400 mm square by 300 mm deep. Check what type of soil you have. If it's loose sandy soil, you may need to make a larger foundation. A good tip when using a concrete foundation is to weld the base plate to the track using short lengths of angle iron. This will allow you to complete the installation of the operator, commission the unit and only then finish off by throwing the concrete plinth. Route your cables through the cable entry hole, allowing at least 400 millimeters to protrude above the base plate.